The third boat in the astute class is looking close to ready and almost all of her crew, 110 men, have joined HMS Artful in Barrow. Being drafted this early in the programme gives the submariners a fuller understanding of the inner workings of their nuclear-powered boat. After all, they're the ones who'll need to maintain Artful under the sea. She's moved on a pace from astute and ambush. We've got a combat system fitted in, in Artful that, that isn't currently in service in any other submarine. It's uh, called Common Combat, it's a big technological step forward and what it allows to do is make use of pretty much any new technology coming onto the market much, much more quickly than, than in previous classes of submarine. Boats 4, 5 and 6, Audacious, Anson and Agamemnon are here too, in various stages of construction. Steel's just been cut on the seventh and final sub in the astute class. As they're finished off, Barrow's £300 million expansion will start, in readiness for the successor programme, replacing the Vanguard-class nuclear-armed submarines. This Devonshire dock hall's already the second largest indoor shipbuilding facility in Europe. Its roof goes up 51 metres, its length goes back 269 metres, and that's going to be further extended with this expansion. I did 28 years in the Royal Navy. I, uh, I'm a submariner by background, and to see us investing in our sites, getting ready to build the next generation of nuclear submarines, for me, is very personally exciting. Successors an 11 to 14 billion pound undertaking. It still needs government sign off in two years time, but the minister's confident that'll happen whoever's in charge. I am clear that we need to maintain continuous at sea deterrence. That means we need to build a successor class submarine. Fortunately, uh, the uh, opposition, the official opposition, uh, takes the same view. Uh, and therefore I'm confident that whatever happens uh, in any future general election, because this programme will last over many parliaments, uh, whatever happens, there will be a consensus between the two major political parties about what is the right and responsible thing to do. The last major investment in the Barrow site was in the 80s. The eight-year programme of work employing up to 850 people means an improved working environment for both military and civilian staff. It would be nice to see some new facilities. Um, I would think it would improve my my day-to-day -day job, uh, make things easier. What does it mean to you? I know that up there on that wall you have a sign that says people's lives depend on us doing our job well. Yeah, it means an awful lot because you're proud of yourself for making sure that you, you do work to high levels of, of quality to make sure that every time that boat does come back up out of the water. As for Artful, she's expected to be launched for wet tests in the coming months and ready to exit the yard next year, going operational in 2016. Julie Knox, Forces News, Barrow-in-Furness.